Hi, my name is Marta, and I am still the chef and author of Sense and Edibility, a site where I teach you everything you need to know about cooking, baking, and cocktail making. Today's video is going to be very different than my normal videos. Um, I'll still show you a recipe. I'll still show you how to make the recipe, but I won't be doing any frequently asked questions or outtakes. Oddly enough, I didn't have a lot, so go figure. The reason why I won't be doing frequently asked questions is because this is a brand new recipe to my site. And it's also a recipe that is new to the internet. I've never seen this recipe anywhere. The recipe is called Salmorejo de Jueyes, which means stewed crab meat, over coconut grits cakes. This is what I like to call a fusion of my two cultures. I am half black, half Puerto Rican, extremely proud of both of my cultures. And on this plate, you have a piece of me. So let me show you how I make it. First, you need to prep the banana leaves that you're gonna steam the coconut grits cakes in. You can usually find them at Asian markets or Hispanic markets. Um, once you get them home, rinse them off and wipe them down with a paper towel and then cut them with a knife or kitchen shears into 16 by eight inch rectangles. These are eco-friendly wrappers. They add some more flavor to the coconut grits cakes. If you can't find them, you can always use parchment paper for this. In a mixing bowl, combine your quick cooking grits. You can also use cornmeal. Add homemade adobo. I have a recipe for this on my channel if you need it. And some black pepper to the bowl with the grits. Use a spoon to incorporate the spices with the grits and add to the bowl melted coconut oil. You can also use olive oil or melted butter for this and follow that up with some coconut milk. Check out the video that I have on my channel for how to make coconut milk if you feel up to it. Use a spoon to stir these around and the mixture will be really fluid when you first mix it, but after you let it sit for 10 minutes, it's gonna thicken up considerably. Grab a 24 inch piece of butcher's twine and lay it in a U shape so that it has um, you know, a bend in one end. Lay your prepared banana leaf over the butcher's twine and scoop up half a cup of the grits mixture. There should still be some fluid coconut milk in the mixture. That's what the grits are gonna use to plump up as they steam. Once you have your grits in the center of your rectangle, fold it up to encase the mixture in the banana leaves. Leaf, one leaf, singular, leaf. And you're going to wrap the package of banana leaf. What, what am I saying? You're gonna wrap this little banana leaf package and then tie it like that. You don't have to be all you know particular about it. I'm super particular about the way I tie my banana leaf just cause I like it to be pretty, but you don't have to go through all this. Continue wrapping and tying the rest of the coconut grits um, in these little bundles. And then what you want to do is set these inside of a bamboo steamer or if you have a pasta pot that has a steamer basket, you can layer these in the, the rack in your steamer. Steam the cakes for 30 to 40 minutes. And what you want to do is check on the water level in the steamer to make sure it doesn't decrease too much. Just replenish it as needed. You can start on the salmorejo de huellas 20 minutes before the coconut grits cakes are done steaming. Keep uh, achote oil or olive oil in a caldero and add sliced onion, sliced green bell pepper, sliced minced garlic, and sofrito. Again, I have a recipe for sofrito on my channel. Saute these over medium high heat for three minutes and then add diced Roma or you can use vine ripened tomatoes to the caldero. Continue sauteing the vegetables over medium high heat for three to four minutes and stir it occasionally to keep things from sticking to the pot. Add adobo, Sazon, which I have a recipe on my site for, black pepper, dried oregano leaves, and sliced manzanilla olives. Stir these into the pot and decrease the temperature to medium. Next, add tomato sauce to the mixture in the pot, and you want to stir these around and continue to saute these over medium heat. Go ahead and chuck in some bay leaves and bring this up to a gentle simmer. Simmer the mixture for about 10 minutes and then Add to the mixture in the pot lump crab meat. I usually use canned crab meat because I don't have crabs rolling around the backyard. So, Cover this and turn the heat off. The crab meat is already cooked, so you don't need to recook it. You just need to heat it. 
Be sure when you stir it not to be too aggressive. You want the chunks of crab to remain in the salmorejo sauce. The salmorejo is done. You can just keep it warm on the stove while you do something really fun. So what I like to do is serve this with platanutres, which are just basically plantain chips. Cut off the tips of a very green plantain. Take the tip of your paring knife and run it down the front and back side of the plantain. And then peel off that really hard skin. Be careful you don't split your nail from your nail bed. It's happened too many times. I think it happened while I was doing this actually. Once your plantain is peeled, you're going to take a vegetable peeler and peel off just, um, you know, just a slice to create a solid base. And then use your vegetable peeler to peel off very thin pieces or strips of the plantain. You can also do this on a mandolin, but I just find that a vegetable peeler is a lot less, it's like less dishes to do, I guess. Fry these in vegetable oil or peanut oil until crisp over medium high heat. This usually takes about a minute or two. Once they're crispy, you just want to remove them from the oil and drain them on a rack or over some paper towels. Here's how I plate my recipe. I lay out clean banana leaves and then I place two, we like to eat a lot, so I place two of the coconut grits cakes on top of those banana leaves and then I top the grits cakes with the salmorejo de bueyes. Each of these components can also be served individually as separate dishes. Then I put my little platanutres on top of my salmorejo. Of course you want to enjoy this recipe while it's hot. Um, I have instructions for reheating both the salmorejo de guayas and the grits cakes on my site as well as the full recipe for all three dishes, the platanutres, the salmorejo de guayas, and the coconut grits cakes. So I hope you enjoy. Yeah, I'm just going to make you look at my food. And I put so much work into it, I want you guys to admire it. During the month of February, here in the United States, we celebrate Black History Month. It is just a time for us to honor our heritage, our culture, and recognize the people who helped build this country. This year, I'm so excited to be joining Eat the Culture's Black History Month virtual potluck. And we are looking at food and our recipes through the lens of Afrofuturism. Afrofuturism explores the African diaspora through the lens of technology, geopolitics, food, music, dress. This is something that I envision would be a dish served in the future. It's a dish that meshes Afro-Caribbean flavors with flavors that are more popular in the Southern United States among many Black Americans. Um, it's topped with plantains, which is very indicative of African culture and recipes. And personally, I feel like this dish is a great representative of me. I'm blessed to have such amazing blood and ancestry flowing through my veins. And often when you see recipes on the site, you're going to see a mixture of my Puerto Rican culture and my black culture, because without the two, I wouldn't exist. A lot of people believe the misconception that black food is soul food. They kind of box it in to be fried chicken or macaroni and cheese or collard greens. And don't get me wrong, all those dishes are some of my very favorite foods. But African culture speaks many different languages, have many different cultures, dress, dance, music. The black culture should not be limited to the misconception that all African Americans or Africans in general eat the same thing. It's something that I love to demonstrate through food, but I also love to demonstrate it through conversation. On my site, you will find the salmorejo de jueyes over coconut grits cakes, but you'll also find a social studies lesson. Very rich people are deciding to make their homes in Puerto Rico because they're getting huge tax breaks. Those same tax breaks are not available to native Puerto Ricans. So as a result of chaos and destruction from earthquakes and Hurricane Maria, 
a lot of native Puerto Ricans are finding themselves having to leave the island in order to survive. And, and this doesn't stop just on the island of Puerto Rico. It can be found in many different places, especially in inner cities here in the United States. The same Brooklyn streets that I used to play on with my cousins growing up are being totally transformed. And yes, some may argue that the change is good, but they're also not paying attention to the hikes in rent or the displacement of people who have lived there again for generations. So on the site, you will find this recipe for Salmorejo de Jueves over coconut grits cakes. I do hope you take the time to read just a little bit about what's going on in the inner city in very black and brown neighborhoods and as well what's going on on the island of Puerto Rico. Are the corporations to blame? Are banks to blame? Federal laws to blame? Local laws to blame? There's a huge discussion to be had about this subject. In the meantime, I do encourage people to follow along at eattheculture.com for our Black History Month virtual potluck for 2022. There are some great recipes, very Afrocentric, very unique recipes. Some of these recipes I've never seen anywhere, including this one. I do hope you join the discussion. Make some recipes. Share the recipes that you make with the hashtag linked in my, in my blog post and go follow some amazing black creators. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button and make sure you're signed up to receive notifications so that whenever I post a new video, you are sure to get them. I will link the recipe for the Salmorejo de Huellas over coconut grits cakes down in the description box. It's always good to see you and thanks again for watching. Oh, 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 oh,